Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a bit of a while since I last was on here uh, doing a video, but after lockdown, I went back to work and finding time it was a bit of a weird balance and I struggled. Um, so we're going to get back into it today. Um, it's going to be a bit of a random, it's just going to be like a um, makeup to, uh, look with some products that I got back in maybe April to August time. Um, so we're just going to look at them products, going to see what I think about them, any issues I may have found with them. Because there's one item in this that I had a nightmare with and it has caused me to never want to buy off the main site again because of it. And yes, we're just going to jump right in and start with today's makeup. So the first item I got was the P. Louise base. I got this in the shade 0.5. Since trying this item, it has changed my eyeshadow game, I would say. My colours are much more vibrant and... Um, they stick a lot better, especially with glitters. The glitters are staying so much better than what they did when I just used like a normal concealer. So I'm just gonna place this all over my lid. I will say that I would 100% recommend this to anyone looking for a primer base. I originally saw it on a few different makeup channels. I didn't think much of it at first until I tried it then it was like oh game change. So the next item that I got was um, the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette. This is the palette itself. Now with this palette I had a nightmare. I ordered it when he originally released it um, and when he said oh it's going to take a while for it to get to the other um, people who sell it I was like alright fine I'll get it from the main site. Now. Living in England, if I get from the main site, it means I pay shipping and then I pay tax when it enters into the country as well. And I'm sure a lot of people have the same issue. So it's not just the ship. So it's like an extra like, it's $20 for the shipping. And then it's like another 20 to $30 when it gets here, depending on the size of the product itself. And then all I got from that collection was the palette and a gloss. And after, it had been about a month, still no shipping number, so I emailed them and basically got ignored for the first few times and then I finally got a shipping number. It then took another month near enough for it to actually leave America before it even got here. So, And by this point, Beauty Bay had released it as well and so people in England had got theirs way before me and I'd ordered it months beforehand. So a little fumes and the customer service was literally no help at all. They didn't really care. They made no like, it didn't feel like they tried to like help me out or do anything. I was like, mm, you know what I mean? Like it's a bit rubbish when you've got to pay the yeah, extra. I know a lot of people do, but because of this, it's, it's made me like, I won't buy from the main site itself now. So if something comes out, I now just miss out or hope that it comes to like Beauty Bay which in a lot of cases for things like the lipstick colours they don't go on to them so it's a bit rough but you gotta do what you gotta do in it I'm gonna go in with the shade here which is the more now I do understand there was a lot of controversy when this palette came out because of the timing of it and the name of it so it's a bit rubbish I'm gonna place this on the outer corner of my head. Um also, when he, he said, when releasing the palette, oh, it's a gothic like vibe, I was expecting like some deep reds, deep purples, stuff like that, and it's just different tones of greys. Don't get me wrong, I do like the palette. I just think more could have been done with it. 
let me know down below if you have this palette, what you think of it. Do you, did you have any issues buying it like I did or was yours like a smooth process? Next, I am going to go in with Life Insurance, which is this shade here. I will list down below all the brushes and all products that I have uh, used in this video. I'm just placing this just to blend out the other colour. And it gives it more of a greyish tone this way as well. As the other one's more, got more of a brown undertone to it. Next I'm going to use the shade R.I.P. which is this shade here. I'm just going to use that to darken the little the corner, the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to go back in and blend it a bit. So I'm now going to go back in with my P. Louise base. So the next shade I'm going with, I'm stuck between the Angel of Death shade, which is this one here, or Pool Bearer, which is this one here. So I think I'm going to go with the Pool Bearer shade and I'm just going to pop it in the centre of my eye. This one is one that could possibly be done better with a finger. Um, but it does go on quite well with a brush as well. So. I'm going to blend a bit more of the R.I.P. shade just into the glitter itself to make it blend a bit better. So I think I'm going to go in with some of the Angel of Death shade, which is that darker glittery shade here. And I'm just going to put that just towards the ends to blend in the lighter silver with the darker shadow. By blending it into the more silvery shade, it adds a bit more of a depth to it. So as you move in the light, you can see the 
shades change. Excuse me, set, set. With the under eye area, I'm gonna go in with the shade Wednesday, which is this one here. I'm just gonna use a smaller brush. So the next item I got was a little um, set and it was from Smashbox and it is a little set of little primers. And I have to say that I'm in love with this one. It's a minimizing pause one and literally is amazing. I only use a tiny bit and you probably won't be able to see. Um, when you pop it on it, it does actually blur. You pause it on if you can see what pulls it out. See if we can. Can you see the difference between that side and that side? That's why I use this bit on the one areas that have the most visible pores and stuff like that to blur them out. And then I will use the normal photo finish one. Um, the areas where I'm not as bad. So obviously we're going in with my normal concealer, but the foundation, I needed to try something new because I felt like with my, I wanted to try something new with my foundation because I felt like with mine, it was getting quite patchy and just not doing what I needed it to do. So I ended up getting the Can't Stop, Won't Stop by NYX. And I put it in the shade Alabaster. No, I was in the shop for a good 20 minutes trying to, because you can't use testers at the moment, trying to work out if this was the right shade for my skin. And I think I did quite a good match with me like this for like 20 minutes. And, oh, it was a nightmare. But I think we got there. Also, I got a new foundation brush as well. I got this one from Morphe. So I've done my foundation and my um, concealer up before. I'm just going to pause here. I don't have any new contour stuff or anything like that. So I'm just going to go through all that, but I'm going to do that off camera. So I'll see you in a little while. So one of the last things that I actually got recently, but I need to finish the uh, look, is the new Urban Decay uh, Lash Freak. And it's that one that has a brush, a bit for detailing, and then the part that you lift with. I've seen a few people using it and it looked quite good so I thought I'd give it a go myself. A nice mascara. Um, it did clump a little bit but that's fine. It does take a while to get used to a new mascara, I think, for me anyway, because I'm a bit of a dit. Um, for my lips, I use the Mini Scorpio shade from Jeffree Star. 
and this is the finished look with all the recent items that I've got. I do have some more makeup items coming up. I have the Mulan, Mulan collection to review and I have the other Jeffree Star palette that he released as well as well as the Nikki tutorial ones coming up in the future. I did also get the gloss. I'm not going to put that on my lips but I will show you how it looks as a swatch. So here it is quite a dark one but it has got the it's got a lot of glittery silvery flex to it. I have worn this um, over black lipstick. I think I may have put too much on when I did wear it because it was a bit much. Because um, I don't like overly sticky lip glosses and normally they're not an issue from Jeffree Star but this one I think I just put too much on at the time. So that's my own fault. But yeah, this is the final look. Let me know what you think. Did you get the uh, palette as well? And if you did, what do you think? Um, did you have any issues with your uh, delivery as well? If so, let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Stay safe.